All right, people, Mr. Right here with lesson eight for the horn and F. You know, we talked about eighth notes in groups of two like this, joined by the single bar, or they could be joined by a single bar in a group of four. But what if we wanted to have one eighth note all by itself? Okay. Well, when you do that, you've got to talk about something to take up the void of the other eighth note that's missing in that beat. So in lesson seven, we learned how eighth notes divided each beat into two equal parts, the downbeat and the upbeat. Those eighth notes always appeared in groups of two joined together by a single bar. But what if we only want to play a single eighth note? That means there also needs to be a single eighth note rest to take up the other half of the beat. This lesson focuses only on that concept and how they relate to the constant downbeats and upbeats in every measure. You may not be playing notes, but those, those downbeats and upbeats are always pulsing through the measure. One and two and three and four and, right? This first eighth note B, all by itself, six. No, this is the B we're talking about right here. It's all by itself. It is an eighth note. Looks a little bit strange here. But notice that the bar that once connected it to another eighth note has curled up in the stem like that. Its loneliness has caused it to draw up into a fetal position. All right, see, it's all curled up there. That eighth note right there, that bar that used to connect it to another, got cut off, and then it's just like curled up right there. It's all by himself now, the low B. So we've got this eighth note B on the downbeat, but we rest on the upbeat. Now, you may be saying, what is that? Okay, well, let's get to that now. Okay, the single eighth note only takes up the first half of the beat. Notice that the eighth note is immediately followed by a slightly deformed seven. That's what we're talking about there. See, slightly deformed seven, like you got too close to the nuclear power plant and it kind of got deformed right there. That deformed seven is an eighth note rest. It occupies the second half of beat one. Here's beat one, all these. This is the eighth note on the downbeat, and on the upbeat is an eighth note rest. So these two together make up beat one. Then here's beat two, three, and four. So that deformed seven is an eighth note rest. It occupies the second half of beat one, thus restoring peace and harmony to the universe in the space-time continuum. Below, in exercise two, right down here, uh, you will see the strange sight of eighth notes reaching around the despicable eighth note rest that have tried to come between them. So here we go. We have an eighth note that's coming on the downbeat and an eighth note rest, but see the bar? Instead of having it droop down like that, they're reaching around those eighth note rests to connect to their buddies, okay? So these are still eighth notes. They got, they're connected by a single bar, or you could have a single bar that just droops. It's just one eighth note all by himself. So you can have that way. And I put a little bracket around here so you can kind of visualize where beat one is. Here's the here's beat one. Here's your downbeat where you're playing and you're re resting on the upbeat. So it's like, duh, right? So it's, it's a very quick note. It's almost the same as, well, it's pretty much the same as a quarter note with a staccato dot, which means to play it short. So you're just playing these short notes on these downbeats right here. So you're going, duh, 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 duh. But you're resting on every upbeat. So the, the sensation you'll be going is da, 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 like that. So, and that's a low B. I think we understand that. Oh, and right here, da, 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 da. So we're holding these out. These, these two quarter note Bs last a whole beat. All right. We're playing on the downbeat, resting on the upbeat. So these are short. We play these long. And then notice in measure 13 here, one and two and the and four and one two and the, let me move my mouse, four and one and two and the and four and one, two, three, four, right? And you don't have to look at every single last note. You say, oh, they're going back and forth and playing straight eighth notes. All I got to do is go one and two and the and four and, and you finished, all right? Just read it as a whole word. Then number three, uh, you're, oh, oh, number three is cool because here, in the second measure and in the fourth measure, you're resting on every single uh, downbeat and you're only playing on the upbeats. Notice I got the arrow here to indicate the downbeat and the upbeat. So you got and, 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 and in your mind you go, and, and, 
and and that way you won't get lost. If you just try to look at each little uh, eighth note playing on the upbeat, you, there's a potential for getting lost. So you got to be able to feel and count that in to in the in for in, right? So um, let's see here. Let's just start playing through this, and I think it'll become more evident as we move along right here. So we're going to start off with number one and that low B. That's the note we're going to play. Make sure you spread your teeth and lips apart so your lips have enough room inside that mouthpiece to vibrate. So here comes number one. Oh, and I'm not going to point. I'm going to just play this puppy. I bet you can. One and so da, two, three, four. One and two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Right? See, these. this is beat one. Right? That takes up beat one. So beat two is right there. So it's one. Three, four, one and two, three and four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three and four and one, right? So let's try number one. And oh, one, two, three. Number two, we're playing only on the downbeats. Da, 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 two, three, four, and one, and two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. So let's try number two. One, two, three. Play on the downbeats here for each one of these corner notes to take up a whole beat by themselves. But here we're resting on the downbeat. So we'll go in, in, in. Now notice what I've done here. Um, I'm playing the lower B on the downbeats and I'm playing the upbeats with the upper C right there, just up a half step. So you'll be on downbeats, you'll be pressing your valve down. On upbeats, you'll be lifting your valve up so you can get more of a feel of your downbeats and your upbeats. Make sense? So here we go. We're going to go one, two, three, four, and, 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 and. So let's try number three. One, two. play your plan test say you, your band director uses this program and you upload a recording of this using your phone to google classroom play along with the backing track that will be available uh, with this lesson eight and uh, so that you can feel the downbeats and upbeats or else play along with a metronome so that you can your director will know that you know how to feel those downbeats and upbeats all right and as i said right here this it kind of reminds us to make sure you count like right one and two and three and four and one like that if you're counting in your mind you won't get lost let's try number four now one two three <laughs> five we're going to start off softly and crescendo and drive it right in to this this the b natural to the c so don't take a breath right here don't want to interrupt the crashing of the wave so let's try number five now we're going to walk our way up to that f for the, from a low c then we got to go out to the, right not too good of sound there ready and number five. One, two, three. Thank 
six f f rest c b c notice we're resting on the downbeat of beat three so it's one two three and four and all right and then we come right on the downbeat of the next measure same thing here and in here one two three, and and one right we're just popping the upbeats here uh we're popping this upbeat entrance right there we're entering back in we're resting for only a half a beat on beat three and same thing that we had right here so here comes number six. Remember, C, D, E, F. That's a note we start on. One, two. a cool exercise a lesson i should say and remember you want to be able to picture where each beat lies where the downbeats are where the upbeats are so that you can really keep track your your timing uh, you won't rush as much if, if you understand downbeats and upbeats and how to feel them and how to read them knowing where the beat lies in the measure so sometimes you can put a little hash mark over where the beat lies to kind of keep track of where you are so hopefully that brings a bit more understanding to lesson eight.